As the world continued to grapple with the coronavirus this year, engineers across the globe rose to the occasion and joined the effort to fight the pandemic. Engineers and technologists are on the forefront of working to mitigate the consequences of this deadly virus. They're devising technologies to limit the spread of the virus, either by killing it in the environment or reducing the points of contact between people. The 2020 Mechanical Engineering Magazine Emerging Technology Awards recently honored innovations that responded in some way to the COVID-19 pandemic. Here is a look at the winners. Welcome to the 2020 Emerging Technology Awards. ASME, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Room Disinfecting Robots. Pejul Nilsson, CEO, UVD Robots. And Klaus Rizager, CEO, Blue Ocean Robots. High frequency ultraviolet light penetrates cell membranes and destroys the DNA and RNA structures of any microorganism. That makes it a perfect weapon against microorganisms like the coronavirus, which can linger on surfaces and infect anyone who comes in contact with them. A disinfecting robot developed by UVD Robots and Blue Ocean Robots autonomously navigates hospital corridors and rooms via pre-mapped layouts. An operator can direct the robot into a contaminated room and run the disinfection program. One ultraviolet treatment from the robot can eliminate up to 99.99% of all bacteria in a room. Active Ventilation Filter Manzo Horaini, CEO, Medistar Corp. Building ventilation and cooling systems can pick up coronavirus particles expelled by infected people and spread them widely through indoor spaces. That makes HVAC systems a first line of defense against COVID-19. A new HVAC filter developed through a collaboration of Houston-based Medistar and university researchers uses a heated filter made of nickel foam. The filter is encased in a fire retardant frame and uses heat and UVC lights to catch and kill 99.8% of the coronavirus microbes, as well as bacteria and anthrax spores. And while the filter is heated to high temperatures, it doesn't heat the air passing through it. Food Delivery Robot Artie Heinler, CTO, and Lori Vane, VP of Engineering, Starship Technologies. We are still years away from flying delivery drones and fully self-driving cars, but the founders of Starship Technologies realized that a ground-based delivery vehicle moving at pedestrian speed could be achievable today. The battery-powered robot, which looks like a picnic cooler on wheels, travels along city sidewalks at around 4 miles per hour and is capable of identifying and avoiding pedestrians and other obstructions. Store workers load food or other groceries inside an insulated compartment and enter the delivery coordinates, and the robot does the rest. It's a perfect way to conduct contactless deliveries. Open source plans for printed face shields. Joseph Prusa, CEO and founder, Prusa Research. At the early stages of the global pandemic, many doctors and nurses lacked sufficient personal protective equipment. Joseph Prusa realized that open source designs would enable makers anywhere to produce the protective gear and reduce the supply chain bottleneck. Leading the engineering team at his company, Prusa designed, prototyped, verified, and began mass production of medical appropriate face shields. He shared the company's open source design, which takes about an hour and 20 minutes to print, so anyone could download it for free and manufacture face shields using a 3D printer. The design was even verified by the Czech Ministry of Health for use in medical settings. Automated Health Checkpoint Kiosk Howard Horn, CEO, and Jeff LeBlanc, Director of User Experience, Advanced Kiosks. As businesses reopen, company owners are concerned with keeping sick workers from spreading COVID-19. Some employers have temperature checkpoints in the front lobby, but those screenings are often time-consuming, creating lines to enter the building that could, in some cases, help spread the virus. Engineers at Advanced Kiosks realized that their products could be upgraded to help reduce those lines. The company adapted technology already developed in Asia and upgraded the software to North American standards. The Guardian kiosk system not only automatically takes a person's temperature, 
but also uses facial recognition technology to check if they're wearing a face mask.